since I fell, since I fell for you. John Lydon. Music is the thing that definitely saved me when I was going through the worst crisis of my life. I think I finally learned to embrace it. I might have been 20, 21. I think it got back to the guys in the band. I let my skirt show. My singing voice was giving me away. I couldn't hide anything in my voice. My voice was coming from my heart, and my heart was female. My ex named me Jennifer in 1980. I basically was Jennifer at home and someone else away from home. This is like a base hall of fame. You know, this is like a, a living museum. One of the highlights of my tenure with Woody Herman was playing the Playboy Jazz Festival. Mel Torme took a real interest in me. He dug the fact that I was able to come there under pressure. I started using her in my quintet, and I think it helped her a little bit. I think I helped elevate her profile a little. John Latham on bass, and Eddie Shaughnessy, Mar Band on drums. In order to have a career as a jazz musician, I was going to have to present myself as male. And my ex and I made a conscious decision that I was going to keep it at home. What I was dealing with was not something that was going to go away. And we had to learn to either embrace it or we're not going to stay together. Being gay is kind of a welcome part compared to uh, gender misplacement. The jazz community is uh, rather homophobic. Rock and roll is not. I didn't think I'd be able to keep making a living and play the bass. I mean, I literally was ready to give it up. I hired you as a bass player not as a man or a woman. When my spouse finally served me with divorce papers, I began hormones the next day. Maybe you've got an appendage that was born that doesn't match that brain, and in this day and age, you can do something about it. A fantastic bass player would not want to be a middle-aged woman. Female, male, put that aside. There's a human being there.